This is a plant that we call an RF25X, X because it is kind of a prototype. We're going to start with raw sewage today. And then we're going to take some good things like gasoline and motor oil, uh, antifreeze, which is called ethylene glycol. Uh, we probably will add some heavy metals to it, perhaps some other types of poisons as well. We'll get mixed in with the raw sewage. And then we take that, we put, we'll process it through this, this RF25X uh, uh, package plant. And at the end of that, we'll have actually quality water that's suitable, it's totally potable, all the organisms have been killed and so on. But there's some things about water that we all need to be aware of. And in particular, they contain microorganisms and bacteria such as this, streptomyces. They contain parasites. This is the one that causes the uh, elephantitis, uh, the enlarged uh, legs and things like that you see in Africa. We've got metabolites of various drugs, both legal and illegal. All these sorts of things are appearing in our water supplies. The system that you're going to see is well proven and well developed. I think that's about all that I want to say. I, I wanted to give a very general introduction to what you're going to be seeing today. Like I say, the, uh, it, it's kind of fun to see how Oliver's system actually works. And you know, from experience, I can tell you that the water we produce is not only clean, but it actually tastes pretty good. This is a demonstration of a advanced water treatment system created by a company called Custom Engineered Systems from Atlanta, Georgia. Now, the unusual thing about this system is I can go straight from a sewer right into your glass and make bottle quality water. So the front end of the machine is what knocks out most of the particles. But the rest of the pollutants like arsenic, MTBE, antifreeze, organometallics like film emulsions that are very dangerous and uh, they get caught in your liver, this machine will eliminate all of those, over four or five thousand pollutants. This is water that's already gone through the machine. This is sewage water, at least it was. You can see it's blue even though you're looking through the tank. The blueness of the water comes from oxygen saturation. Now we saturate it with oxygen by using ozone. That's our primary disinfectant. In fact, it's so effective I can eat this glove off my hand like a flamethrower without hurting my hand. As backup, we use ultraviolet light, which means we can kill anything. I'm able to do a 22% saturation of ozone along with the catalyst in the water, and no one's doing that. Okay, this first tank is the chemical treatment tank. But instead of putting polymers and alum and ferric chloride, we actually produce a molecular ion using electricity. That means I can dissolve almost any type of metal in water instantly. For example, if I use an iron grid, it reacts with chlorine, you get ferric chloride, so I don't have to buy ferric chloride. This is a small electroflocculation grid, okay? I'm putting a certain types of metal ions in this water and I'm going to cause particles to form. Since most people have never seen anything like this, I'm going to do it in this aquarium because this shows how I can replace most of these settlers and these big chemical polymer tanks and all this type of thing. I can do the same thing with an electrical grid and I can do it in a few minutes. So if you looked at the bottom of the water in this tank right here, the bottom of the water is already split and it's already clear. So all this fluff and flock and garbage and stuff has come to the top of the water as a scum. Sir, you want to give your name and which company you're from and hey. what you thought of the demonstration? Jorge Chong with, uh, with Octagon Industries and uh, joint venture with, with my dad, Jorge Chong, also out of Mexico. We're bringing in, you know, clients for potential applications for this solution. As you can see, the results speak for themselves. Yes. Right? I tasted the water as, as clean and pure as what you can probably buy at the, out of the store in bottled water. So basically your assessment is that from what you saw today, the demonstration worked. Absolutely. I saw it Look. four years ago in Atlanta. Same solution is, is, is the way to go. 
Uh, what we are uh, contracted to do is come in and take water samples of the influent and the effluent and we will send that to a certified lab which would also be separate from this uh, operation uh, to actually uh, confirm and verify uh, the concentration of the influent and the effluent and that's our scope of work. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your input and what you saw here today, just, just for your own personal, did you taste the water? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did taste the effluent water and it, and it seemed it was uh, colorless, odorless, uh, as it should be uh, on, the, on the inside and uh, we didn't, I didn't taste anything and it looked, it looked fine. Uh, but like I said, confirmation would be sent into the lab. Because of my background working in pathology at MD Anderson Hospital through toxicology at Shell Oil and now I'm at ExxonMobil and looking at rocks, but I, I do think that, uh, you know, we all are going to need water and you, we have to find ways of making sure that our water is purified and uh, this seems absolutely wonderful. Seems like to be one of the solutions. And I've tasted the water and I am a water drinker. From a little kid to now, I'd rather water than coffee or tea or anything. And I don't want any aftertaste. And this has absolutely no aftertaste. It's, it's very good. There's some ugly things out there that only this kind of technology can take care of. We can do some things at wastewater plant. We can't address the, the uh, psychotropic drugs. We can't address the hormones, the uh, endocrine disruptors. We can't address the illegal drugs like uh, you know meth and things like that that come through the system. So it's really neat that we have some technologies out there that are addressing some of those issues that our normal wastewater plant uses biological processes. This is something that's kind of nice to know that people are working on because there's some ugly things in water that we can't get out with a regular wastewater system. That is correct. And of course, as we well know, water is one of the most important aspects of our life. There's nothing more important than water. So thank God there is something and some people that are doing something about it to help, you know, help make a difference. I'm an engineer by training, so I'm helping out Ben with uh, whatever technical help he needs. I have some background in uh, water purification. And I think what Oliver has been able to achieve, and I don't think anybody else I've seen do the same thing with water is his creativity is in assembling various technologies and he bought them in one umbrella. I don't see this anyone else doing that, so I'm very impressed with what Oliver has uh, in store. This process takes this whole plan and does away with it, and which the footprint is fine, you know, I mean this is great and wonderful, but this will improve what we need. This will take out all of the garbage that we got, all the other stuff, and that's what we want to do.